Boo. Ah, ah, ah. Happy Halloween, everybody. It's me, Amy, and I'm glad you decided to join me for this very Halloween edition of myself reading the book that I wrote, Legends, Orbs of the Elements. Now, before we begin, as you can see, I am not dressed in the shirt that I usually wear when I read my book, but it is Halloween! Happy Halloween! Treats for you! Treats for you! Um, I hope everybody has an amazing night. Be safe out there. Uh, make sure you wear all the uh, so you're very visible with cool night sticks, night sticks, glow sticks, flashlights. Um, make sure all your little kiddos and goblins and ghouls are all safe out there. Um, make sure your pets are in safe because people are not the smartest during Halloween and sometimes are mean to pets, so please keep them inside. Um, this is not what I'm going to be for Halloween, but I wanted to be super festive and super different. Um, so you'll have to bear with me. I got my, in my makeup inspiration from no other than Frankenstein. Ooh. So... Let's just jump right in. I hope my face is not too distracting as we plunge back into the world that I have created. Oh, as always, if you are interested in buying this book, um, I will be leaving again all the juicy fun details at the end of this video. Chapter 11. Ooh. While the legend and hunter were entering the southern woods, Rifa was using her skills trying to locate the orbs of the elements. She, she searched and searched. Rifa used her magic to find it. Using magic required a lot of her energy and sapped her strength. Late in the day she now had to she now had the location of one of the orbs rifa hurriedly wandered room to room in search of her master she passed by Blinken. he of course looked in a fouler mood than usual at one of the last rooms she looked in she found nero he was practicing with his sword master i have located the orb is it in the home it is in the home of the high counselor Shall I go get it, or do you have other plans? Nero had the sleeves of his velvet blue outer coat rolled up. He put his weapon away before he replied, No, don't. No, don't take it from the counselor. Let the hunter do the work. I do, however, want you to go and offer friendship to him. Then awaken the gnomes. Tell them to serve me and reward them as you see fit. Rifa understood and bowed. She was, as she was leaving, Nero called out to her. Oh, yes, one more thing. Tell the head counselor I will be enforcing a toll for protection of the building of the people. She replied to her superior. Yes, my lord, it will be done. Rifa then went back to her room. She changed into a dress that would make her look tempting to the male population. The dress she... The dress had a square neckline. It was a dark plum color with red lace for decoration. The arms of the dress were made of black see-through material. She made herself look like she belonged to a powerful ruler. When everything was in place, she chanted an old, in an old tongue, closed her eyes, crossed her arms, and snapped. Rifa reappeared in front of the head counselor's home. She climbed the steep stairs and knocked on the door. She was let in by the servant. Counts the counselor will see you now, a young girl said timidly and, and showed the way into a study where the girl left and shut the door. This is quite an unexpected visit. Please sit. A new voice full of dryness and authority came from behind a stack of books. 
The man came forward. He wore fine-looking robes of black and white. Counselor, I come on behalf of my master. He wants to be friends with you, she said in a pleasant tone of voice. The man was a great deal taller than she. He had gray hair with streaks of black. It was, it was orderly and tied back. His hair covered his back, which, which wasn't tied in place. Friendship. He, he, he has control of all our lands. Why would he want to be friends with me? He said, as if not understanding what Rifa had said. Rifa could see where the man, Rifa could see where the man was coming from. You speak the truth, head counselor, which is why my master wants to be friends. If you give him a small tribute, if he ever wanted to share power, he would gladly give you half and would be under his protection. The tall man in front of her, the tall man in front of her paced. She knew he was getting to him. The greedy bastard. He stopped and turned to her. Very well. You have a deal. On one condition, he said, and gave her a hard look. What is it? Rifa said coyly. You must join me for supper at, as my guest this evening, he said, with one raised eyebrow. She turned away as if she was shy. In truth, the man before her revolted her. Will others be in attendance? Or it will, or will it just be the two of us? She asked meekly. The counselor faced her and looked her over before giving his reply. We will be joined by other members of the council, but perhaps after dinner, we could find some quiet time with one another, he said, emphasizing time together. He moved a bit closer to her, so he was once again so they were once again, I'm sorry, he moved a bit closer to her, so once again their bodies were touching. He took one of her hands and softly kissed it. Rifa made herself smile sweetly at him, even though she wanted to turn, to turn him into a stone statue. That sounds perfect. I will be honored since, I would be honored since you agreed to the terms of my master has set up a toll to protect the building of the people. The head counselor nodded with what Rifa had said. Now I must go and see to some things in the woods near the border. Don't worry, I won't touch a thing, she spoke. She knew full well that some folks thought that if a witch touched anything, it would be tainted with magic and have a curse upon it. Stupid fools. The head counselor stalked up behind Rifa. Good. I wouldn't want you getting hurt, he said, clearly trying to, to be seductive, and in Rifa's opinion, failing miserably. He then opened the door for her to leave. When Rifa was on her way towards the woods, she thought to herself, men are so easy to corrupt by power and a pretty face. Rifa was now approaching the border. She could tell that the legend and hunter had come this way earlier. She spread her arms wide her, 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 horizontally. Gnomes, Queen Rifa commands you to awake. A, har a harsh gust of wind arose, and a large, tall, black swarm ar arose and gathered around her. Listen well, all of you. I am your master. A legend and hunter will be coming. I want you to kill the legend, but not the hunter. Understood? The mass of gnomes, the mat, the sorry, the mass of gnomes answered with one voice. Yes, master. She smiled a sinister smile. With a wave of her hand, they all were in. It, they were all in strong-looking armor. They all cheered happily. She used her other hand and moved it in a circular motion. There was a mound of jewels and gold gems. They greedily lunged for it. She moved her hand again, and the treasure was gone. I have put your payment in, in your cave. If you fail, 
I will take great pleasure in turning you all into gems myself. They all nodded and fell silent. She was indeed a cruel, cold witch. Rifa smiled again and in a blink of an eye disappeared, disappeared into thin air. So that is all the chapter for today. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big like, subscribe, share with friends and family because all that really, really helps my channel out. Um, if you are interested in reading along with me or wanting to read it on your own, my book can be found on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Apple iBooks, and lots of other places books are sold. And I also have a Facebook page dedicated to my book where I go into more details uh, and I discuss different topics about my book. Um, one article that I just wrote not that long ago was about my three main villains. About It's about Prince Nero, um, the wizard Blinken, excuse me, and the witch Rifa. Um, I go dive into more of their background and their characters. Um, again, this is just that I am just telling, describing more of their background, why they are doing certain things, um, or how they kind of came to be in the situations that they are in now. I try not to have my topics be filled with spoilers, just so that way if you are interested in wanting to know more about them, um, but without ruining the story, I haven't designed it that way, so there is no, you won't read it and be like, oh no, major spoiler without, you know, reading me reading it or reading you guys reading it on your own. Um, I also, another article I wrote was about the different lands and territories and how I came up not only with the idea for that, but how, what, uh, what inspired me to write the territory, the different territories. Um, another article I wrote was about how I came up with the names of Leon and Castilla. So if you are interested in finding out more about that in my writing process, if you will, um, definitely go check that out. I try to write an article Monday through Friday, all different topics, like I said. So again, if you're interested, please go check it out. Or if you're wanting just to find more information out about my book and whatnot, um, please check it out. Please like it and follow it because I am so excited to write new articles about it every day and lots of other good things. Um, I am also in, uh, not interested, I'm also currently working on the follow-up story to this book. So again, if you want to, if you are liking this story, there will be a follow-up story to this. Um, I'm so proud of it and working on it is takes a lot of time and energy, but I promise you it is worth it. If you are not super into fantasy and reading and whatnot, but you know somebody that is, please, please, please send them my way. Tell them about my book. Um, the more people that know about it, the better sales I will get. Um, I'm trying my best to, uh, work on better promoting my book. Um, so stay tuned for all that stuff. Um, that's all the video for today. I will be making some more videos very, very soon. I will be making a video showing you my Halloween costume because trust me, guys, this is not it. Um, I will also be doing, of course, um, a, another video about me as a right hemiplegic. I will be showing you a new task that I do, how I do that one-handed. I will be showing you and telling you more fun things. Um, so please, please, please stay tuned, like, subscribe, like I said, do all that fun stuff. Um, I hope you guys all have a happy Halloween. Please be safe out there. And I will see you guys soon with a new video. And as they say in my book, 
May the elements protect you. Bye-bye for now, everybody.